Communities like Beetham Gardens are often known for the negative elements that continue to plague the area. But there are many residents that strive to change the outlook, starting with themselves. In tonight's See Yourself segment, Mahalia Joseph Wharton tells us how two young people are hoping to transform their community with education. Kareem Marcel was recently called to the bar, but the journey to that moment wasn't without its challenges. His mother, who was a preschool teacher during his school days, would rush home to prepare food to sell to earn an extra income. At times, it, it may, we, didn't, we were not able to make those ends meet, because at times, you may, you may put out, you may not sell as much as you think. Sometimes mommy borrow in order to, you know, to, to start this weekend or whatever the case may be. He has the full support of his family and his community, and his goal is to change the way his community is viewed by the rest of the country. I think that whenever persons want to think about, compare the worst of Trinidad and Tobago, they use Vita as an example. Even with the work done by some to change the image, it still isn't enough for society. There are many times that no matter what you do, no matter what positive thing you do, no matter what you do, you still get painted, the whole community still get painted with an entire brush. The stereotyping doesn't end for many who reside here. Kimberly Dorman, a recent graduate of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, said people outside the community expect all residents to look and act the same. The stigma was really harsh, especially someone like me. I'm very quiet. I'm always inside, never outside, but a lot of people know me in the area as I grew up in the area. However, being on the outside, from the time people hear you from Beetham Gardens, they say, no, you don't look like a Beetham child or you don't look like you went to UE or anything. She shared her motivation for pursuing civil engineering. During the years in my community, Beetham Gardens, there were a lot of poor infrastructures and also there were sewer problems at my home itself. So I was able to witness these sewer problems. And I remember they were refurnishing old apartments into new apartments. And I wanted to help in some way because Obviously, I would be fed up of the sewage problem as well. So I decided to ask questions of what I can do to help my community. And a teacher advised me. Bear in mind, I went to Tranquility Secondary School. And I decided to do civil engineering. To hear more about their stories, tune into TTT Live on Monday, December 12th for our 30-minute news feature, Beat Them Success Stories. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton and this is See Yourself on TTT News.